Are you here? But most important, how do you know you are here? This is consciousness. Infinite things transcend our everyday experience. The world as we see it seems to be of our property, ready to be used, to be owned. How does consciousness really act? A breakthrough exists at the quantum level of things, where atoms behave like waves, but matter around us is still sound down to earth. What? Exactly! This is what quantum mechanics tries to explain, and consciousness is the key. And how do you know you are here? That electron spinning around the nucleus can be here and there and I don't know where. Electrons own multiple states. And a state is not only their position, but also their speed. All of this happening at once. Superposition creates a wave of chances. And because electrons behave in function of this wave, this coexistence results in the wave, part wave particle duality of electrons, therefore atoms, therefore matter. Wait, what? Who is that I don't have my own key decisions? Many states we have, but in entanglement, you appear because they are connected. When two states are entangled, they form a unity, because this key will only unlock this lock, as well as this lock will only be unlocked by this key, no matter the distance of time. How does consciousness really act? What builds our reality, like we know it, like we approach it, to be here, like this wall behind me, is what causes this collapse of this wave particle duality and superposition to be part of our classical world. If this state collapses, what causes it? Consciousness then might be quantum. Consciousness appears to be the one collapsing it. We are the ones observing it, living it, when one single state. But even if consciousness cannot be really defined by quantum mechanics, quantum mechanics can help us deal with what we don't even ask about, and that's the big power of quantum mechanics. 